Hello everybody, welcome to Hawkeye FX with your host Marcus Toombs on the 3rd of July 2017 and this is my weekly review. Now we won't get too many weeks like last week when it was very easy to call and uh, there were some great trend runs and I hope you all did very well. So let's just review what we were looking at last week. The big one here was the yen weakness. You see here it's getting very low down in the charts, just turning down on a very shallow shoulder and uh, if we go straight to the chart you can see that the yen weakened significantly against all six of its currency pairs and you just won't get a better chart than that look how smooth it was all through the week with no significant pullbacks now we're also looking for pound strength as it came up here and euro strength so let's have a look at those charts so you can see here the pound didn't disappoint it was very strong against the us dollar the japanese yen new zealand the aussie the canadian was quite horizontal because that had a little bit of surprise strength and obviously we were going horizontal against the euro which is strong in itself and you can see that here on the euro chart strengthening against the dollar horizontal against the pound strengthening against the yen strengthening all week against the new zealand and the aussie uh, a little bit horizontal against this uh, Canadian. And finally here we were looking for weakness in the Aussie, the Canadian, the New Zealand and then the US dollar we were looking to turn down. Certainly didn't, didn't disappoint with US dollar weakness, New Zealand weakness and uh, Aussie weakness through the week although it's just turning up now. And uh, the surprise really was this bit of strength here in the Canadian. So looking here at the four hour charts for the US dollar pairs you can see the US dollar did strengthen slightly against the Japanese yen as that was the weakest of our currency but it did weaken against the pound, euro, Canada, Aussie and New Zealand. Now tomorrow there's a bank holiday in the United States for the 4th of July Independence Day and uh, as a special Hawkeye are selling all of their products for 25% discount. If you haven't already purchased the Fat Man I would do. It just tells you which pairs to look at and what's going to be strong and what's going to be weak. I can't resist just showing you these Japanese charts again. They are just so smooth and uh, there was a lot of money to be made here last week. OK, so let's take a look at the week ahead. Tomorrow will be quite quiet on the markets with the Independence Day in the United States. But do watch out for the interest rate decision from Australia. There are some construction PMI and service PMI out of the pound. Then on Thursday or sorry, Wednesday with the FOMC meeting minutes, which um, may well move the market. Then on Thursday, non-farm employment change. And then Friday, non-farm payrolls and also employment change out of Canada. So the week will get busy. OK, so what am I looking out for? I'm looking out for continuing pound strength. Now, obviously, things move in waves and pull back, but continuing pound strength and euro strength, some Canadian strength here. We look for continuing dollar weakness and New Zealand weakness here and also weakness in the yen. This is very low down here. So we get a lot of price movement in the charts, but we are watching for this to turn up now and come back into some strength. If it does come down and stay down below the tram lines like it did here in May, this will be an extended period of weakness. We can trade this continuously until such time as it turns back up. Okay, I hope this points you in the right direction in your trading and I uh, wish you all a very good week.